that it should make the promise of non effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more what? A promise. It's no more of a promise. But God gave it to Abraham by a promise. See, Abraham wasn't under the Mosaic law. No. And that's what he did that on purpose, people. When you read the scripture, look at it. Abraham was not under the law. Abraham was not a Jew. Abraham was not a he. Well, he was a Hebrew, but the bottom line is he started. He, he was the beginning. And his promise was made not under the law. He says, verse 19, wherefore then serve as a law. That's what people are asking the question and so they're running to their pastor or running to somebody and said, what, 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 wherefore then serve as a law? It was added because of transgression, because of the, 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 the shortfall of all of us. Mm -hmm. Heal the seed should come to whom the promise was made. And it was a day by an angel in the hand of a mediator. Now, a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Is the law then against the promise of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been made by the law. Problem, problem is, <laughs> but the scriptures, see, that's, see that, is that right, brother? <laughs> the scripture concluded all under sin. Now, we know that's written in other scriptures too, Andrew, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the scripture has concluded all under sin. So, so don't get wrapped up because of that, because all of us have said, all of us come short of the glory of God. That's why that commas in there, because that the promise by faith of the other humanity, right? They're the humanity now. Christ, there's the anointing, might be given to them that believe. That goes with John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The whosoever what? Believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. It is a belief system, not a law system. But before faith came, we were kept under the law. And I want, you know, another thing I want people to understand. The law, who he's talking to? Who was kept under the law? Not the Gentiles, right? No. No, it wasn't the Gentiles. The law wasn't given to the Gentiles. Yeah. The law wasn't given to non-believers. Or, or they had to be part of the covenant of Abraham. Yeah. And, and, and so therefore, when people sit there and try to look at the world, look at people who's not uh, in the body of Christ, look at people who are different faiths and different things else, the law wasn't given to them in the first place. No. No, that's that's the amazing thing. Yeah. The, that they they weren't even considered nope. in this particular time. Nope. It's nope. no different than slaves uh -huh. during slavery. Uh -huh. They are not considered in the laws of the land. No. No. And and, and therefore and sit there and get all mad at people because they they don't fulfill the law. It's like I had I had a conversation in the hallway, and then one of the things the guy was saying is uh they were talking, especially talking about he was talking about the abortion thing, and talking about the, it's, it's murder, it's is 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 the law of God. And I said, Man, I I I understand if you want to apply the law, but you gotta understand that this our country does not establish any church, any church. We're not supposed to. So you really can't apply that as your principle. You can sit there and say, use those as a template, but you still understand is that 
that you can't, the law, I told him to say, everybody's not subject to the law. They, and they couldn't understand that. I said, well, I don't, they're not subject to the law, they're not under the law. Now, when they get judged, everybody's gonna go before, you know, God. If you're in Christ, then you don't have to go through the throne of God. You, you're going through Christ and you're going to be your works and stuff like that is going to be looked at. But mm -hmm. if, you, if you're not in Christ, you're going before the throne of God. And then all of a sudden, everything that you did is going to be reviewed by God. And he's going to be a righteous God. And he'll make those decisions because he's the only one who can make a decision anyway. But the whole point is that they won't be because of the biblical law or the Judeo laws, and then the Christian laws, we only have one. He said to love one another. That's what he told us to do. A new commandment I give unto you, right? John 13, 34, a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. And I like the fact in verse 13, is 35, he says, and men would know that you are my disciple for the love that you have for one another. And we, that's why we want to be able to show and love it calls people to encourage one another. It, here's another analogy. Go back, you know, in the meantime, we talk about being parents. The love of a parent for a child is so loving when that child stinks on itself, when that child pees on itself, when that child mess up. You know how you remember when little babies and, and they got the baby seats and they're eating their food and you know little baby stuff and <laughs> they just throwing it all over the place that parent doesn't say you violated the law <laughs> i'm gonna slap you on the refrigerator no that parent is just so so uh they just clean up the child many of us we we clean up our children's mess when they was young because of love of god same thing is the love of God for us as we walk and grow. The God is there to, to, to clean up our mess. And he wants us to mature. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you won't, you won't tolerate your child now <laughs> coming to the table. And, and, and so, you know, start throwing food all over the place, right? Because you can say, mm -hmm. I trained you. I trained you. I taught you. I help you understand that you don't do that anymore. And that child knows that. There's a lot of things, right? You see in a grown up teacher raising a child that there's things that they learn from the tutelage of their parents that they behave correctly out of maturity. And that maturity goes until that child is old enough to be on their own. And that's what we want to do, we want to train somebody so that they can be more what independent and god wants us to be that same way he said come as a you know that's why i think he said come as a child you know, you know one of the scriptures he said come as a child we come in there a lot of coming up with a full cup and think we know it all and 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 that's where the shortfall comes in at, opposed to coming in as a child as the lord you lead me you raise me, you teach me, you guide me. And I, I, I like that, you know. Let me wrap it up here, it says 23. But before our faith came, we were kept by the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterward be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to, you see humanity is out of that again, <laughs> to the anointing that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we're no longer on the schoolmaster. See, is that what I said earlier, right? Yeah. We're no longer on the schoolmaster. Somebody said, what school? We're talking about the law. Those of you that listen and may hear this, we said we're no longer under the law. We're no longer under the schoolmaster. And therefore we shouldn't be trying to put anybody else under the law. We shouldn't be judging nobody else under the law. We're not under the law. How are we going to put somebody else under the law? For we are all, verse 26, I love this. And this is for, when we talk about racism and all that other stuff, this scripture says, for ye are all the children of God by faith in the anointing 
of humanity. Who, when I said Jesus or Yeshua, now that's the humanity part. But notice you put, you see, it has put it instead of reversing it. You see Jesus, the anointing, and then you see sometimes Christ, Jesus. You see that? Because he's, he's trying to make a difference of what he's focusing on. It's the anointing, the spirit of God. In Christ, we are all under the anointing. That's what we call Christians. For those who don't know, that's why you call a Christian. You're Christ-like. You're anointed-like. And, uh, and, and uh, you need that anointing to operate in this world as a believer. You need that anointing. You need that grace. You need that mercy. But I always make sure anybody, you ever see Christ, he's talking about the anointing, the anointed one. When you see Jesus, that's talking about the humanity attached to it. So if you say Jesus first, he's referring now toward the humanity side connected to the anointing. Or when he's trying to say Christ by itself, he's talking about the anointing period. And then in this case, verse 26, he said, Christ Jesus, what? The anointed one named Christ, I mean, named Jesus, Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Amen. I like that. That's, that's uh, interesting. That's a little tip for me. So, so there's my, there's our brother, uh, Johnson right there, just keeping him in this bubble, bubble Fletcher. <laughs> so, I wanted to wrap up and say we're not under the law. We're under grace and mercy, and we're led by the Spirit of God. And there's where my peace that surpasses all understanding comes from. It's operating on that. And, and, and I just want to say for believers out there, and for people who ran into believers or two people in the ministry, the people that show that meanness, they mad at you, they're disappointed at you, just tell them God ain't finished with me yet. And, I, and I, 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 I'm glad that God is the one working on me, not you. Because obviously, if you work mm. on me, I'm through. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hey, brother. God you, bless all they're going to do is just, they're going to they gonna shape you into being a pleaser to them. To them. And now you got to get you got to get qualified, justified by them, approved by them, opposed to approved by God. And God says, time yeah, for us to learn. Be approved by him. And, and that's what, yeah. that's the whole purpose of the subject today. You're not under a schoolmaster. If you want to be, but I, we're not, brother, I was going to say, we, if you want to be a schoolmaster, you go ahead. If you want to live under the curse, go ahead. Because it said curse everyone that, 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 that lives by the law. You know, you go ahead. I'm just saying, I'm not, nor I'm going to hold anybody else by the law. And I am not, first of all, I am not going to be enforcer of the law. It, and that's why I see where people look like they're sucking up on a limit, all upset because they try to, you know, get people to live by the law. It's not worth it. I think you lose your peace that way. You know what I mean? Trying to enforce the laws and, and, and opinions and everything else on people. Let that go. Just lift people up and edify them. Help them grow. Encourage people. Just like that riding that bike. Just encourage somebody to, to ride. And never be led by the Spirit of God and let God work on you. Because that's where the that's where the blessings come from. Brother and everybody who's listening, God bless you. And I hope you have a great week. And uh, those of those who listen, subscribe to the channel so you'll get a notice when I put out the uh, you know do videos and stuff like that. I'll break this up. I already broke it up. I made some uh, studies already. That I bring up, but it's a blessing to break yours the way you do. I'm gonna break these up for people to chew on. It. Amen. Amen. All right, but you have a good rest of the week, and uh, just remember, we walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> you stay blessed. All right. You too, bye -bye. Oh. Amen. Everybody, God bless you. Have a great week. Thanks for listening. Hope you learned something. I know it's long, so I'm gonna break these up. I'm gonna even break these up. I'm not gonna send them out to people on the phone. I got some people that sent out using my cell phone uh, to some people's friends, but uh, subscribe and you'll get the uh, notice when I put them out on uh, YouTube. 
Amen. All right. God bless you. And uh, we'll see you when we see you. <laughs> Go ahead and cut this off first. Bye. 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 <laughs>